So we're going to make a general purpose pouch that I'm going to set up as a first aid pouch. So come on ahead and follow along. First piece is going to be the zipper panel. Looks like I cut this piece a little bit long, or I cut the other one a little short. Did I cut this one too short? other one off to match. Sometimes when you do that, you just have to adapt and overcome.
Okay, so this panel's gonna have a flap on it to cover the zipper, but I want the overall panel width to be three and a half inches. So, before I sew anything down, I wanna measure it and make sure that I'm at three and a half inches. put a binder clip on there to hold it. That should be three and a half all the way down. You're near enough anyways. side so I can see where I'm at. stitch line on the top of the flap too because it makes it look more finished. It's not mandatory. A lot of gear makers don't do that. It's just something I like to do. This is the, uh, this will be the, the ends of the zipper. Before we do that though, we want to install our zipper sliders. That's really easy, you just separate the zipper, not that much, and put a slider on. Slide one side on, then the other. and zip it. Now on these big number 10 zippers it's really easy to do this but on a on the smaller zippers the number five it's not quite so easy. I just like to trim off the fuzz. And we'll install the other side. two zippers installed. And then I like to, because I hate, hate these big tabs, I just cut them off. And I'll, 
replace these with parachute cord bales because they're quiet. And then we'll go ahead and sew the tab on the end. Repeat it on the other side. You can just sew right over this coil zipper. If you're using a metal zipper, you couldn't do this with a normal sewing machine. It would break your needle. This guy is a little bit heavier than what you'd find in your grandma's sewing room. trim off the end of the zipper singe it melt it together and there we have it completed zipper panel